Uh, uh, but uh, right now, we're watching you know PVD. Go to watch our watch PVD and Alina Haba, which is Trump's lawyer, is giving you the goods. And Epstein Island Black Book is now out and about. Get ready. It drops number two coming. This is day two of the big drops of 2024. Big grand awakening is coming. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Holy and shit. When you walk into the, I think it's, yeah. I mean, we can fact check me, but when you walk into the right, it's there. You put a former president in a dress in high heels yeah. in your entry of your apartment. Yeah. What does that say? I own, wait, is that supposed to be the Lewinsky dress, by the way? I don't know. That's yeah. a great question. It might but, be. But, but the Prince Andrew thing. Yeah. So, I mean, as a, as a, again, how do you defend ability, that as a lawyer? Don't, yeah. You don't. I mean, you don't. I wouldn't take that case. Shit. <laughs> I wouldn't take that case. Why not? Because it's uh, the, to me, unless he could show me that this was not, the, I would have a, I have a very hard time with pedophilia. Look, just because I'm a lawyer, I represented a, a child who was a victim of rape by a man who raped 20 something other children wow. in a state by a state employee. That's crazy. He was a systemic rapist. He would groom these children, usually divorced children. Wow. And he was the only one not within the statute of limitations that could bring a lawsuit. So I couldn't do a class action. Wow. I did this. I got, you know, we, we resolved the case. He's fine. He had drug addiction, all these things from that. I can't, as a human being, I can't wow. defend that. I can't. And, and some lawyers, maybe they can. Maybe How do lawyers defend something like that? Well, so I always ask that question. Lawyers, yeah. Criminal lawyers, because sometimes you're mitigating damages. You're not trying to uh, prove, you know, them, like, prove them innocent. Yeah. You're just trying to mitigate and negotiate. And by the yeah. way, I'd probably be a great criminal attorney. I'm not a criminal attorney. Um, I... Yep. Uh, how about this is yeah. with uh, representing somebody who I believed was a pedophile. Alina, so and from a lawyer mm. lawyer standpoint, uh, the list came out: New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, billionaire hedge fund, uh, hedge fund manager Glenn Dubin, the Prince. The list goes on and on. Clinton. There was certain names, especially one that was Blacked just out. heavily redacted. Yeah. Okay. This is my question. There's obviously I don't know no no victims. God, I feel so bad for them. I'll, I'll mm. pray for them, but. Well, how are they yeah. still protecting the name of a person that? Well, they're not protecting the name. Well, how are they? Why are they? Why are they? Why are they no, redacting so, this? So person? legally, what happens? Is, so no, they they have. That is uh, Lena Haba, yeah, uh, Trump's the, attorney, uh, giving the, you the, the world, et cetera. We'll try and do so. The rundown, uh, the goods, what's going on with Epstein Island and so Trump. People always say, you know, uh, it's not all public, and I want the world. The to ball's about to drop. I, when I have a case, so I'll shut up I'm for a little a bit. Lawsuit, like there are things you just don't know that are not so. public. Sometimes the court orders them be private. There are private conversations with judges and all the all the parties and their counsel that are sealed um, for certain reasons, for protection reasons. Um, there are. I don't understand why that is unsealed. I don't like it. And I would love to know as an attorney. Um, I think that no matter what, if this goes to trial, we will know because they can't um, have, and I'd be shocked if the press doesn't make a motion to have it filmed and, and public, but there will be transcripts and all of that. At this point, you don't know. There's so many identity issues. And when you're dealing with uh, minors and rape victims, there's a lot of, of, issues that happen. Sometimes it's to protect the rape uh, victim, that they don't want their name being associated with that blackout name because they're afraid of being killed and then they have to be in. So there's so many things that go on that people don't realize. Now, what do I think in here? No, I'm not gonna think that. I think that that's somebody who's very high profile. Obviously there's speculation yeah. as to who it could be. Um, somebody, uh, but I can't understand how Bill Clinton would be revealed, but this person wouldn't. Yeah, like who, who's more, like this is the ex-president so, of the United States. His yeah. name is all over, but this one heavily redacted name. But like, you know who I know it's not? Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> well, the left must be going crazy because they just proved all the stuff that we talked so, about. Yeah. Who, who is protected more than yeah. him though? I, well, I was just going to say, would it be a Bill, Bill Gates? Maybe a Spielberg? This person is bigger than Clinton. Tom Hanks? Okay. I don't know. How do we know it's one person that's heavily well, one of them. It's, it's one it, name. It's one name that I kept seeing that was just redacted, redacted. I think redacted. that's strange. Wow. No. Isn't that weird? Unless they're cooperating. You know, there's so many elements that we don't Ooh, know. So we have the attorney. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they could be a cooperating witness. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what so, who that would it's be. So it's so interesting because I But you have to remember, so much happens before the public knows. Um, you have, you know, I, I've been in front of a grand jury, you know, and people didn't know. And I, they pull you in. They see if you're going to be part of the papers. That's all stuff that they do. And then they pick and choose and they put their storyline together and they decide which witnesses they're going to rely on. 
but there's a ton of people that go in front of a grand jury and testify. And then what they do is, and it's really unfair because a grand jury um, is one-sided. You're not allowed to have your lawyer in there. You go by yourself and it's it's a frightening experience for anybody. And you just have government, the FBI, the DOJ, you know, the grand jurors, and they can ask you whatever you want. You're not represented in there. Um, you can leave and ask a question to your lawyer, but you are by yourself. And you, you know, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to hide. I had nothing to hide. I went in, I was, I was honest. But if you have something to hide, I could imagine uh, that then it opens the door to witness, witnesses that flip, witnesses that cooperate, they plea. So there are so many things that could have happened there um, that people don't realize before it becomes public. But I'm happy that it's becoming public. This yeah, is... You and me both. And I saw something where it's like, the I don't know if the government or the FBI, one of them have all these boxes of all the recordings and everything yeah. that he actually was recording. Yeah. All these people on the island, yeah. all the cameras, all the hidden cameras. Oh, I'm sure. He had a room like this, Pat, with all these TVs and recording yeah, everything. So when they would leave Alina and he'd ask, hey, I need this favor. And the person's like, no. He's like, oh, really? That's you with this underage girl or whatever. And they would do all to me. That is the uh, This is a movie in the making, I tell you. Right uh, if there's anything we know about Epstein, is he's wow. recording all you oh, movies. Oh, one minute. Yeah. And that's why he was so powerful and was getting of hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why model. he's dead. That's yes. why he's <laughs> Allegedly, he might not he, be. His his he offed himself. Yeah. That's right. His business model yeah. was blackmail. 100%. Okay? All the child weird stuff, pedophilia. Oh my lord. <laughs> the ball's about to drop there, ladies and gentlemen. Epstein has got all the goods. The videos, the recordings, the audio. So I'm surprised he's, Ghislaine's still there. That's crazy. Know. I'm stuff, surprised she hasn't she more hasn't stuff, more drops. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of odd that she's still You know, you know what this does tell well, you though. I mean you're looking at the stuff. Okay, did you ever meet anybody famous when you were with Jeffrey? She asked. Uh, I met Michael Jackson at Epstein's house in Palm Beach. Asked whether she massaged Jackson. She said, I did not. Asked for Copperfield. Uh, uh, she said that he attended dinner at one of Epstein's homes and did some magic tricks. Did you observe David <laughs> magic Copperfield trick. to be a friend of Jeffrey Epstein? That's a magic she trick. Asked. She replied in the affirmative. Did Copperfield ever discuss Epstein's involvement with young girls with you? She was also asked, he questioned me if I was aware that girls were getting paid to find other girls. Hmm. Copperfield, she said in a deposition, didn't tell her any specifics of the question. Did he say whether they were teenagers or anything along those lines? She also asked, he did not. Trump, those associations have known supported and mentioned documents on President Trump. So, so, Jeffrey, great. Well, call up Trump and we'll go. I don't recall the name of the casino, but we'll go to the casino. And then ask at one point whether she ever gave him a massage to Trump. No. The deb and this is going, right? Okay. So here's the thing. When you're reading this, there's two things here. One, you, you know, you have to know these guys are sitting around talking to their lawyers, talking to their people, like, what are we going to do? And then they're calling each other like, hey, man, what's your plan? What, I saw <laughs> yeah. you there, Doug. Yeah. I mean, you were, what are you up to? <laughs> well, who's your lawyer? What do we want to do with this? Did you call that guy? Did you call this guy? Oh you know, Because they know whose name is blacked out. Of course. If there's anybody that knows, the people that have been there know. Like, they're, you know, if, that, no, because I, no, not necessarily. I'm going to correct you because I have been, like I said, I'll use my experience. Okay, I'm not going to speculate. But in my experience, I have been in a front of a grand jury. Huh. And I am shocking. It's like what they do to every Trump lawyer. <laughs> Lawyer, right they, they like scare you they bring you in they, it, things that I had nothing to do with and they uh, you know I had no idea who went in I still don't I don't know everybody that went in I don't know I don't know who went in because we all have different lawyers and who went into the grand who went into grand juries I, I don't know no no I'm saying people that went to the house yeah but they all don't know who was involved in that and who the other guy might be and because once you go into grand jury Right. That's not that's not that's not testimony that not, you get until crazy. you're on the what I'm saying is like if you, go, if you go to a party right. and, you know, you, you, uh, we're in Vegas. OK, body of mine. My dad's like, where are you going? I'll be back. I'm 14, 15 years old. The story my dad told there the other know. day. Right. Yep. in Aspen. So I go downstairs. My friends, you know, we're all you know, uh, troubled teenagers at the time. We don't have any direction <laughs> in life. We're yeah. in this Cadillac. We take the dad's car. He's yeah. driving. My friend, 15-year-old guy, he's driving, I'm 15. <laughs> not, not legal to drive. No. <laughs> not yet. But, we're, but it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Guy pulls up on this side, okay? And 
Five guys from New York. Where are you from? New York. Where are you from? Burbank. Okay. Boom. Guns come out. Mm. Then all of a sudden, oh my God, here we go. So we run out. Run, 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 run. Everybody get craziness. And then go back to the room. My dad's like, why are you breathing so hard? Oh, I was just exercising. <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> now, what are you going to do? I'm just going to sleep. He said, what happened? He, he doesn't find out till I'm 32 years old when oh, I tell wow. him this stuff. I'm like, you don't need to. Need. But, but the people who were in the Cadillac know. They know. Right? Yeah, the yeah. people who were in the Cadillac know. So the concern right, here. Right, 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 right. Okay, he's got a point. Two stories here. One, the, these money powerful people that have been able to control their their card to get away with stuff like this, they did not think today was coming. They yeah. did not think that this thing was going to be public. You think they were thinking? I, I, they, I was, I, nah, they're, they're like, I don't know if this day's going to be coming. They probably thought he was doing everything to protect them. He was doing everything to protect them. So January 21st, apparently the list, all the other names between yeah. now and then is going to be released. Yeah. Moral of the story, folks, this is more having nothing to do with politics, having to do with you. Man, be very careful what parties you go to, okay? Okay, so he's pretty much, uh, PVD is pretty much giving him the words of wisdom from what he did back when he was 14 or 15 years old. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, be careful who you hang around with. Especially shady people who are going to break the law or become very nefarious when they get older. So, words of wisdom, I understand them. Yeah, PBD is a little bit younger than me, but he's very successful and he's able to read uh, uh, people. Uh, he wouldn't be so successful if he, he wasn't able to read uh, especially evil people. So, he's good. He's good at what he does. Uh, he's very successful, so I have to give him that. And uh, my uh... okay, we got the stamp. Okay, my uh, computer is pretty much freezing here. It's one thing I had. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so PVD knows what he's talking about. So he's giving his uh, the, the the his history, life history, what he did when he was a teenager, and he's basically saying, watch who you hang around with, be careful what you say. And um, words of wisdom to a guy who's very successful in his podcast, as well as his insurance company, which he sold, apparently, for my, for well, this research that I've done uh, of him, but he knows what's going on. But I uh, do respect, and I do like watching his, um, his show and his podcast, because he answers, I mean, he gives the hard questions. And he expects you to answer him um, with honesty and thoroughly, and that's why I like him. He's there's something about PBD. I didn't like him at first because he kind of seemed fake to me, but now he means it from the bottom of his heart because he really wants to know what's going on with your head and my on your mind or why you did certain things in the past, present, and what you're gonna do in the future. So. Kind of my take on what PVD is. I do like him, um, and I do like what he does. And I do respect his uh, tenacity and how he conveys himself to his audience. And he's got like 1.56 million right now because I'm watching his his uh, YouTube channel, and um, because he's got a lot of Haba, his uh, lawyer, I mean Trump's lawyer, and. Uh, He's doing a really good interview at the moment, and it's uh, kind of sucks right now because my computer is kind of freaking freezing. It's hard to record in, uh, a record capture while you're watching the video, and it tends to interrupt. <clears throat> so, but it's okay because it gives me time to uh, say my piece on my podcast as well. So this will be on my Spotify. Be sure to check me out on my Spotify as well. Uh, I said my bomb too, but we'll be shaded out in some parts because I have to be careful what I say. I got to weed around and be careful what I say because censorship is very uh, evident now that 2024 is in and it's really uh, up and up and you have to be careful what we say, um, especially up in Canada area and hey, you want to speak the truth. So, you know, the truth shall set you free. In biblical terms as well. Say the truth, you know. But, um, anyway, so I think I'm going to have to end this one, but hold on. Where are the individuals? 
Uh, this one's not going on because I can't seem to. But thanks for joining me on my live at Beagle, guys. So I, I will probably go live in about another hour as well, too, on my other platform. But be sure to check out my, my YouTube channel. So LA Entertainment TV Podcast Vlogging. Be sure to subscribe, like, forward to everyone you know. Hit like. It's free. You know, it's not charging you anything. It's all about the likes and all the algorithms. The more likes, the more subscribers I have. Boost it right up the platform because the censorship is big time. It is. The censorship is big time, especially if you want to talk the truth. So, And this Big O Live, who are my followers, which are appreciate that. You guys are awesome watching me almost every day now for the past, what, month? It's awesome that you guys are watching my podcast. But don't forget my LA Entertainment TV podcast vlogging on my YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, like, forward to everyone you know. It is free uh, to suppress the algorithms. The more likes, the more subscribers, the more you push it out. I go up the ranks to go over (laughs) the algorithms because my subscribers and my likes... Are not adding up. It's up and down. So I don't know. It's the way the algorithm works. So YouTube channel, LA Entertainment TV podcast vlogging. Go down to the YouTube channel on my YouTube channel, LA Entertainment TV podcast vlogging, and hit subscribe <laughs> for everyone you know. That's all I can say, guys. So thanks for watching me on my Beagle Live today. So it is. Quite interesting story what's going on with the drips of Epstein Island with the black book. That is going vile right now on X, formerly known as Twitter. Elon Musk is doing a really good thing, so he's doing his part. Everybody has a part, okay? Portis has a part, Portis 45. Um, the white hats are in control. The black hats are screaming and scrambling because the Epstein Island, who supposedly... Uh, out some stuff is Caputzo. Uh, the black book is out, and we got like thousands and thousands of videos and like audio. A so, anyway, let's let's uh, proceed on with PBD's podcast. It should be ending pretty soon as well, too. So let's go. <laughs> I am kind of frustrated right now because my, it's uh, lagging. It's lagging right now, and it's it's pissing me off right now. So. Sorry about that. I'm like 20 minutes in my podcast right now, so I'm not going to go beyond 30 because I got other things to do. I got, uh, it is a busy day today. Uh, We are like the fourth day of January 2024. The first drip is out. Epstein's Island Black Book is open. We got more names coming out. Prominent names will be... Um, exposed. So what are they doing? They're crossing exposed. illegally. Yeah. We've anyway. heard that there's, you know, Chinese migrants going. Oh Lord, come on. So we're right. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't know who's coming in because they're we just coming in. You see what I said about it? So, this has been a yeah. great podcast. Appreciate you for coming yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep staying tough. And looking forward to seeing what happens. And what can people find you, by the way? Is it, is oh, it just... I'm so not a... Alina. <laughs> so, which I, I'm more active on and, of course, Instagram. Fantastic. There you go, Rob. Let's put the link below for everything. <laughs> Alina, I would say uh, in a Syrian... Lena Hava is a Syrian, so she's a, she's a very good lawyer, and she's a very tough lawyer, and who, who Trump actually hired, so you can't call Trump that he's a sexist, because he gives everybody equal opportunity, whether you're a guy, girl, or whatever sex you are, but she's good at what she does. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to end it now because this podcast is just this, the lagging. When you're, when you're watching a live feed on PBD or any other channel that you're watching live, it's hard to 
video yourself, crap yourself, and do a uh, to do a podcast uh, live. Um, but it's okay. It's all good. Uh, the, the, you can watch it live on my uh, Beagle as well too. So it, this won't be on my uh, my Spotify. And uh, I kept it quiet a little bit. I, I made sure I want to hear what how she said how conveyed herself as being Trump's lawyer. And how she, uh, I don't know how more drips are coming. Uh, they say that 2024 has become a very, it's going to be the great awakening. And so far this is the start. It's very interesting how as soon as 2024, as soon as the ball dropped in 2024 came, uh, out came the Epstein Island. So <laughs> it's here. It's now. And uh, we're ready to uh, see and witness um, what they're trying to hide. And uh, we all know that the evildoers are doing and kicking and screaming their their hearts out and um, they're scrambling and don't know what to say because uh, they're getting caught in their lies don't forget these are the most powerful people in the world um, they can say and do whatever they want and get away with it so yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> in a nutshell. Okay, guys, so. Anyway, thanks for joining me today on my short little podcast. Um, I will be going live later on, maybe tonight, or uh, just to give you more drops of the Epstein Island. The names, using Waxwell, Virginia Lee Robertson, Gwether, I don't even know who that is. I, I gotta check that out. Kathy Alexander, Miles Alexander, James Michael Astarici, Philip Barden, number seven is redacted. David Boyalis, uh, Laura Both, Evelyn Bole, Rebecca Bylan, Joshua Booner, Carolyn Casey. Peter Casal, Sharon Churchill, Alexander Custo. So these are just some of uh, Tony Lyons, Bobby Mister, James Mallison, Vicky Ward, and so there's a lot more coming out. But the Epstein videos. Is probably and the audio is probably what's gonna solidify the deal put the nail on the head or the nail or whatever analogy you want to use is the big drop the big revealing and how you're gonna let's just say how do you put it like this way how are you gonna get yourself out of that mess when you have a when you have a video of yourself um, having sex with a minor it's pedophilia how do, you, how do you explain yourself when there's audio of you, literally videos of you uh, penetrating some minor, you know, whether she's 5, 10, 13 years old, she is or he is a child. All right, so, and uh, to top it off too, where are those children now too? They should, um, there's a couple of them that's, that's, they're already coming out. And um, there's a couple of them right now that's uh, that's uh, came out of the uh, the woodworks or the closet to tell the truth about what they what they have done to them when they were children. So it's a tragic and witness thing to see, and it's a tragic witness thing to hear, and it's a tragic witness to um, see children being violated um, at such a young age. Uh, it could definitely put a um, straining things when you get older it can really screw you up and I can understand and see why they can turn to substances and even suicidal thoughts become a little mentally ill because of the tragic things that they experience at such a young age so 
it's pretty, uh, I don't know, just thinking about it, it just kind of makes me sick, so, ugh, sick to my stomach, but they're out there, and it's pretty furious, so, yeah, so, I don't know, um, yeah, okay, so, <clears throat> 26 in, I'm always watching the clock, so I don't want to be over 30 minutes, so, it's out, Epstein Island is out, and the prominent names are coming out, so there's more drops coming in in 2024, they said the Grand Awakening is um, here, uh, it's up to you to do your own homework, to do your due diligence about what's really going on in this world today, and the cabal is real, <coughs> evil is real, it's here, it's here to stay, and it's here to cause destruction. When you get caught with your pants down and you do evil things to evil ch to children, when you have evil thoughts and evil intentions, you're going to scream, you're going to do anything you can to get yourself out of the mess. Whether you got influenced by the higher up chalant or whether you are attracted to that type of behavior, <clears throat> you need... Um, you need to be punished, and that's my for say. Because I'm doing this full time now, I uh, no longer do the shenanigans, not shenanigans, but I was a big part of it back when I was younger. I have, don't do that absolutely no more. I surround myself with the right people. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my family, my good friends who's been there through thick and thin is all that really matters. And now I'm here to speak the truth of my podcast and vlog. Don't forget to watch my YouTube channel, LA Entertainment TV Podcast Vlogging. And don't forget to subscribe, like, forward to everyone you know. It is free, thank God, because they are suppressing me and every other patriot around the world. Let's kick the algorithms and... Patriots arise. Bye for now there, uh, gentlemen. Thanks for watching my podcast. It is a shorty but a goodie. Um, watching PVD and Elena Haba, which is POTUS 45s, which is a.k.a. Trump, a lawyer. She's doing a good job. So Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, LA Entertainment TV. There, ladies and gentlemen, as well as Bigo. And uh, all my other platforms on my Instagram. Let's kick the algorithm. <laughs> Bye for now. God bless. Get speed. And we will definitely see you in the next podcast. Ciao.